Hi, Namaste. Let us we will discuss about uh, evolution by anthropogenic action. Evolution by anthropogenic action. Okay. In case of evolution, what happens? There is an. Uh, it is a gradual changes from millions of years, years together. It is going to be changes. Whereas here, anthropology or anthropogenic action means the man involvement of a man or human being. Okay. Here what happened, usually DDT is there, na? DDT is one of the pesticide, okay. it is one of the chemical pesticide and insecticides we are using in agricultural practices, whereas here this DDT usually they are controlling the mosquito population, whenever wherever the stagnant water is there in that area they are going to be sprinkled and spray the DDT. In the beginning generation of mosquito they are going to be killed by the DDT one generation, one or two generation of the mosquito are going to be killed and controlled by the DDT. Later on what happened, this mosquitoes, uh, generation of mosquitoes are start developing the resistance to the particular DDT. So that will be happen in the nature. Several years, so several generations, so what happened, usually organisms are going to be adjusted and they are developing the resistance. Later on mosquitoes, they are having the resistance power against DDT. DDT will not won't work on that. As a result of that, they are having the development resistance. They develop the resistance against the DDT and the mosquitoes are survived. One more example is the bacteria, certain type of bacteria. Usually we are using the antibiotics. Antibiotics you should not use regularly, continuously. There is a course will be given according to that uh, how many days doctor is prescribed only that way they have to be used the antibiotics. Otherwise what happens a particular group of bacteria start developing the resistance against particular type of drugs. So this is an anthropogenic action. Thank you for watching and subscribe for further lessons.